Hi Aries, it's with a general reading for the sign of Aries. Um, so anyone with Aries strongly in their chart could resonate with this message. That said, we're all different ages, we all live in different parts of the world, we're all going through different kinds of situations, different depths to our experiences. Um, so um, this reading cannot apply to everyone. Uh, it is just not possible for, for the, every reading to apply to every person. But hopefully um, there's something here for you as you move through um, through your journey. All right, Aries, let's go ahead and um, get into this story um, that Spirit is going to bring us today. What is the current energy? What is the current energy for this group of Aries? What is the current energy? What is the current energy, please? What is the current energy? What is Aries uh, stepping into in the next uh, weeks to come, the next several weeks, the next couple of weeks, the next month? What is Aries stepping into? What is this group of Aries people stepping into? What are they stepping into in their immediate future? Please, please help us understand. What are they stepping into? What are they stepping into, please, in their next immediate future? What are they stepping into in the next immediate future, please? What are they stepping into? What are they stepping into in their next immediate future? What are they stepping into? Guidance, please, for Aries. Guidance, please, for Aries. Guidance, please, for Aries. There's a lot of, there's, there's a lot, either there's a lot of action or a lot of thinking happening. These cards are just full of energy, Aries. And there's a lot of energies coming out, too, out of the deck. All right, let's get started here with the general um, current energy for this group. This group of people, not all Aries, not all Aries. It will not apply to all of you, um, but, but there is a group of you that will resonate with this message. Let's see what the message is. What are you um, experiencing now, Aries? We have the devil energy. We have the King of Cups in reverse. We have the Two of Swords and we have the Sun. <clears throat> and right as I hit the Sun, the energy changed. So um, there is some sort of situation here that you're experiencing um, that has to do with something. There, There is something. OK, let me let me get myself in order here. First of all, let me get the card centered so I feel centered while I read this. Because I, I always need to be grounded when I do these readings. That's why sometimes I spend a little bit of time making it all straight and uniform. Although this card came in like this, I'm keeping it like that. That is the King of Cups in reverse. But it is um, moving forward into the upright um, in this period of time. So this is a group of you that, ha that are... Um, going through some type of situation where you are feeling um, within your home or within your workplace or within the environment where your body is, where you lay your 
body to rest at night or where you come home to relax or where you sit in your in an office all day long or where you work during the day there is some sort of situation in in your environment around your body not within you but around you here um, that is not a good situation for some reason or other the devil energy is here so there's some lack of moderation here maybe an obsession maybe there is some anger in this situation or some toxic energy here that is creating some sort of environment that's not healthy for you it's not healthy it has not been healthy it is not a healthy place to be the devil energy is not always an unhealthy energy sometimes it's passion sometimes it's chemistry Sometimes it's that energy that we use to rev our engines, right? Revving our engines. Um, but, but in this case, with the King of Cups in reverse, it's telling me that there is, for this group of Aries, a, um, a situation around you, around you, in your home or in your workplace, um, or within your family unit that is not healthy. But what I see happening, because this card landed... Um, as it is coming into the upright. So this situation is beginning to be fixed. There is a resolution coming in here. Um, the, re the resolution is coming in because you are beginning to seek clarity around what the situation is with the Two of Swords. So there, there has been something maybe that you've been procrastinating about, um, turning a blind eye to, um, not having the energy to address. Sometimes we don't address situations like this because we don't have... Uh, perhaps we don't have the capacity. And as I was saying that, it's like I lost my breath. So you could have gone through something quite severe, or you could be recovering from something. You could be recovering from illness or recovering from some kind of devastating financial position or even recovering from an addiction or an obsession or some kind of lack of moderation. Whatever this is, you are recovering now and you're gaining your strength back and you're getting to a point here where you're able to look at the situation with clarity. Um, whatever you were procrastinating on before, whatever you didn't have the strength to see, um, just like this nun, she has the strength now to open the door, to see what that noise was out on her doorstep. It's blustering outside. It's a storm. The rain is coming down. And she thought she heard some noises, but she didn't have the strength at some point here um, because there, there has been a child waiting on her doorstep, and now she's had the strength to open the doorway and to see what's there. And that is going to bring new health, new revival, new success to whatever the situation is. So I think um, what, whatever you're going through, there, there is clarity coming to you. There is clarity com coming into this situation, and the clarity is the key. The, seeing the truth of it is a key. I'm not saying that you have to... Um, go after someone or you have to take action in a severe way um, because we have the queen of pentacles here and the queen of pentacles okay I'm, I'm cutting okay i'm still back on the two of swords the sun is easy the sun means success the sun means healing the sun means optimism um, and empowerment but the two of swords is an energy of really um sometimes it's kind of hard the two of swords can be a hard energy um it, it requires an opening of the eyes and sometimes and i've been there many times in my life um, the, the situation is easier if you can keep your eyes closed or um, if you can keep your heart shut you know in this case there is you you do have the energy in this is happening now for this group of people you're having the energy to see the truth for what it is and it's this queen of pentacles within you that's helping you to do this this is um, the Queen of Pentacles is about self-care. Self-care, not in an internal loving way, but self-care in a realistic, practical way. What is the common sense of this situation? Is this a fair situation in a common sense kind of way? Really? I mean, is, how, what what is unfair? There's something unfair here. There's something unhealthy about this. And it's a very practical viewpoint. It takes a very practical eye to see what this is. It's a common sense. But the Two of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles is talking about common sense. There's something here that you're having to use the Queen of Pentacles. See, the Queen of Pentacles is very pract practical, very pragmatic. Um, she can really, and, and as I'm saying this, my ears are like, closing in on me that's what i do when there's pressure so there there is a situation here um that's that's re okay i'm going to turn this king of cups in the upright 
And I'm going to turn the devil over because it's like, oh, man. It's just taken some strength to get to this point. It's taken a lot of strength to get to this point. And what has ha helped you to do this is this Queen of Pentacles energy. This Queen of Pentacles can be for a masculine and a feminine. It doesn't matter. It's the quality of the fragment within you, um, that fragment that says, okay, what's the practical solution? What really is, is unfair? What would be the most fair thing to do? Um, what do I need to do every day? What do I need to do when I go into work? What, what, what is my list of things? What, why is this unfair? Why is this unreasonable? Why is this unhealthy? Writing these things down, coming up with solutions, coming up with alternatives and really putting your thinking cap on. This is not really about a, it is about a health in a, in an environment, but the solution comes from practical, rational thinking rather than, um, inner, um, loving, you know, inner care. It's something that you're doing in reality in your environment. So you're sitting down, you're right, you know, I'm just saying like, this is a, a scenario. Um, it could be like you're sitting down, you're writing out a list of, um, difficulties or a list of challenges or what, what is creating the situation. And then you're coming up with, with different ideas for how to resolve it. What are the, what are the elements of this situation that you can control? And what are the elements that you cannot control? And how do you address those two different, um, those two different categories, right? And it's this Queen of Pentacles that helps you, um, it helps you determine what the, what the situation actually is. What is it that's creating the contrast? What is it that's creating the difficulty? And it's the Queen of Pentacles fragment that helps you to see the truth, that helps you to gain the strength, to gain the fortitude, to gain the courage, to really look at what this situation is. And really, you're ending up here in a very good place. So um, I think this is, could be a situation where you've been in maybe for a month, where, you know, it could, you know, it is arrogant. I have to say, when we determine the timing ourselves, when a reader determines the timing, um, well, I'm going to say when I determine the timing, I do feel sometimes like a hint of arrogance for me to do that because this is a message coming to you from your spiritual team so it's kind of up to you but but i kind of go the, these are immediate energy so um take it as it resonates but for some of you this could be a smaller situation it doesn't have to be a life situation it doesn't have to be an epic life situation it can be um, a short-term situation something that just has cropped up or it could be an epic situation but just take it as it fits with you um, and as i sit in this current energy i am continuing to like remove the pressure from around my ears and that might sound funny but it is my world um, and so you will maybe need to continue to have rest um, research how you can clear your energy. I'll be doing a video on that um, soon. I'm starting a new channel to help people with energy work. Um, I'll be doing an uh, uh, um, a video on cleaning energy. But for right now, do what you can to to, to create um, as healthy of as uh, uh, see. And it's hard for me to even talk. It's this energy is very dense. Aries, but I love that the sun is here. It's telling you that there is a solution. It's telling you that there is success. You're just having to work your way through this denser energy that can create um, a sense of tiredness, a sense of overwhelming, over, overwhelming energy. It might be hard to even talk. I'm having a hard time talking and I'm usually fairly good at talking as you guys know. <laughs> Um, and so it's, it's a thick energy. It's, it's hard to move through. But with this Queen of Pentacles, this tenacious, this tenacious nature of the Queen of Pentacles, she perseveres. She puts one step in front of the other. She keeps going. She doesn't stop. She knows that there's a solution. She knows that there's success just around the corner and she does what she needs to do. She continues forward. She doesn't do everything in one day. The Queen of Pentacles does not do everything in one day. That's the King of Wands, okay? The King of Wands does everything in one day with charisma and with superpower and with flair. Okay, the Queen of Pentacles does not. She's very careful. She knows how to be successful. She knows how to, how to courageously continue forward through something very, um, through something very thick and she can find long-term solutions. The Queen, the King of Wands sometimes the solutions that the King of Wands creates are not always long-term solutions. Lots of times those are short-term solutions and we always need short-term solutions. And I don't know why I'm picking on the King of Wands. <laughs> I do not know why I'm picking on the King of Wands. Oh, 
Probably because you would prefer to work in the key because you're Aries. Okay, I get it. Thank you. <laughs> See, that's the thing. I just need to let the words flow because, um, okay, I get it. Okay, I get it. Okay. It, it's something for you guys, it might be easier to be in the King of Wands where you just go in with that powerful, quick moving energy and, and you solve it in one day. But I don't think it's this Queen of Pentacles energy is, is being practical, um, slow moving. It's an unnatural energy for you, perhaps, but that this is the way that you're going to solve this. Okay, I'm going to move out of this energy because it's really, I can, those of you who have followed me for a while, you know, I can go around and around in this kind of energy. So, um, let's go ahead. Um, because the sun is here, I feel like we can put the king of cups uh, in the upright. I think because the sun is here, this is success. I think you're going to bring new health and vitality to whatever the situation is. Once you see the truth here, once you get that, um, when you get to the point of working your way through the situation here with the queen of pentacles energy, um, this is going to create some kind of stability. Now, um, this is going to create some kind of stability in your pocketbook or in your bank account or in your future revenue or in your, um, some sort of, um, income from your work. It's going to create new stability here. That's what the queen of pentacles does. She looks at the details. She works with the details. Um, she is a, is she, um, organizes and prepares and implements daily processes to make sure that all the gears and all the wheels and all the machinery is working just right so that success can be made here with the sun energy. So I, I do see that you're successful. I do feel like for this group of Aries, you've been dealing with something that's that's pretty hard. It's been foggy. It's been hard. To, there I go. I'm starting revolving around. Um, I'm just saying I, I am commending you because this has been a challenging issue. It's been a challenging bump in the road for you. And I just want to um, give you a pat on the back and a handshake and a hug and say, the sun is here. There is a solution. There is success here. You are making your way out of this. You are finding the solution. And that's something to be very um, grateful for, appreciative of, and it's something to be, um, to realize the value of, of what you've done here, to realize the strength of character that you have, the ethics that you have, and the time that you've taken here to fix this problem in the way the Queen of Pentacles would, which is a long-term solution that will benefit you um, for a long time to come. All right, let's see what's here for you as you move into the next incoming future. Whew. Aries. Hmm. Okay, let's see what's next to come. Seven of Pentacles. Great. I love that, Aries. I love that a lot. Four of Cups. Knight of Cups. Five of Wands. Queen of Wands. There you are. Feeling good about yourself again. Page of Cups, feeling inspired. Pentacles, Six of Pentacles. Okay. <sighs> I'm just moving over into this energy now. So this will be a change. Um, this will be a change. The sun, the solution, the new energy that comes in will bring, um, it will, it will take a little bit of time and a little bit of work. We have the seven of pentacles here. Um, this is about investing in yourself, um, practicing training, um, investing in the future. So this is about your long-term gain, about long-term success here. Um, you're able to overcome this discontentedness, this disappointment, this um, apathy for the future that you were in for a while. You were in this in this position with the Four of Cups because you really, I don't think you, you might not have known what to do, to be honest with you. That energy that we were in or the energy that you're currently in is fairly thick. I mean, I don't want to make it thicker than it is. I don't want to make it harder than it is, but it, that's that, that was challenging. I mean, I'm still kind of dealing with it. So um, if you're wondering, like, if this is, 
why is this so tough? Like, I don't know why it's so tough because I don't know what your devil energy is from, but it is tough. And I think it's good to confirm that. Like, yes, this is a tough situation. So if I'm feeling tired, if I've been in the Four of Cups, then that's what normal people would do. Normal people would be in the Four of Cups. Normal people would be disappointed. Normal people would be tired and, and not really knowing how to get out of the situation. That is a normal thing. And it's okay to be in the Four of Cups. It's okay because it teaches us what we don't want. It teaches us what we don't like. It teaches us what is unhealthy for us. It is a necessary step in the process of creating our reality is the Four of Cups. So <clears throat> all of us, <clears throat> see, I'm going back into the Four of Cups again. I don't need to go there. You guys don't need me to go there. But uh, <clears throat> so what I, <clears throat> what I like about this is the Queen of Wands energy is here. This is getting back your self-confidence. This is starting to see your superpowers again and really start to implement them in your work. Um, feeling um, empowerment from within, the flame from within. The Queen of Wands is an inner fire, right? <clears throat> <clears throat> there we go. Okay. The queen of wands is the inner fire, right? It's the inner fire. This is thick, you guys. I'm going to turn this over. We all know the four of cups is there. And, and I am talking about intentional work. So when we know that we're in the four of cups energy, when we're in this discontented, um, apathetic, um, <clears throat> there I go back in the energy again, when we're in that energy, we have to intentionally move out of the energy. We have to intentionally turn the card over. We have to intentionally say, okay, how can I get my mind out of this place? How can I get my body out of this place? It's an intentional thing that we do. <clears throat> okay, let me get back in the Queen of Wands because that's much better. feels much better. The Queen of Wands energy is an energy of um, self-empowerment, inner flame, that fire within you. Um, really focusing on what your your strengths are and really making them into superpowers, understanding what your weaknesses are and managing those weaknesses in, in a way that they don't um, inflict harm on your superpowers, right? This is becoming a superhero in your own life. And when you can get to the Queen of Wands stage, which is something that you can naturally do, Aries, I see that you begin really investing now in your future in a very long-term way with the Seven of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles in this energy is a hopeful energy of long-term stability, long-term um, improvement in, in the future. So this is talking about um, rates of return, you know, rates of return, investment power, um, diversity within your investments, training, all that kind of energy. It's, it's talking about really working on um, training yourself, practicing, and this doesn't have to do with a certain material, a certain area of study, but training on your own self-empowerment, training on how you find your own life path, on how you build your own loving relationship or loving home that's a sanctuary for you. Whatever it is, in the next few weeks, you do um, find new inspiration again. I do feel for many of you, you could be having some kind of a new introduction coming in here with the Page of Cups. We see the Page of Cups here over the top of the Knight of Cups. So there could be some kind of new introduction here that really um, finds, a, um, puts you in a, a loving place. Um, it fills your heart with love. It fills your path with love. So there could be a new introduction here of, a, of a, perhaps a, a potential love partner. Um, there could be a child in your life that um, reinvigorates you, that helps you remember um, what love is, what 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 is important for you to focus on, what is important you, for you to be grateful for. Um, whatever it is, this is a uh, um, an energy that you're moving into of inspiration, of love, of moving forward in love. Whatever that situation is, we do have the Page of Cups over the top of the Knight of Cups. So this could even be a situation with a lover that we're talking about here. And with this um, solution that you come up with or this, practica this practical um, nature that you're stepping into here and solving whatever this is, it could just reinvigorate the love that's between the both of you. Whatever it is, there is a reinvigoration of love here. Where wh Whether you were alone and you had no one and you were searching for a person and you were introduced to someone, or you have a situation that had fallen into a, a dense energy, into a negative energy, there is a reinvigorating en energy of love here. Now, it doesn't have to be with a romantic partner, a sexual partner. It can be with your family. It can be with your coworkers. It can be with your life path. Love is love. Love is all-encompassing. Love is... 
um, the light of the world. So um, for me to just say it's a love offer, it's a sexual partner, it's a romantic partner is, is also for me um, really narrowing it down uh, because love is all encompassing. It is the power that brings light and optimism and joy and success and healing to the world. So um, in, in some way or another, you're moving into a much more loving and inspired um, place as you move forward in the next couple of weeks. So you do this, this solution that you find is quite successful and it really does turn the situation around. We do also have the six of pentacles over the top of the five of wands. Now the five of wands talks about conflict, whether it's inner conflict, inner conflict within yourself, or more likely there was some kind of outer conflict here. Why I say, why I say outer conflict is we're talking about the king of cups again. The king of cups talks about um, love and nourishment in the exterior world. The king of cups is a masculine energy and this is the yang energy, right? So we're talking about most likely people here who have come up against um, some kind of conflict in their outer life, in their exterior world, in their world in which their body moves and lives. Um, and we do see the Six of Pentacles here, and this is talking about a new balancing, a new equality, new success here in an equal give and an equal amount of giving and an equal amount of receiving. So there is new success here, new solutions over whatever this conflict was. And I like that the energy of love continues to move through the conflict. So there could be over the next couple of weeks, continued little squirmishes, little battles that take place or little bits of thickness that you feel in the energy. But I think this new way of going about something, this new solution that you've come up with here and this new inspiration and this new energy of love helps you overcome any continued conflict that you could have around this situation. So this is a success story for Aries. While we started, if you can kind of tell the difference in the energy now, while we started in this very thick, abrasive, pressuring energy at the end of this next couple of weeks or the next three weeks we see that load really lightening we see you moving in a much more inspirational way a much more loving way moving forward now into the future there's new equality here there could be more money right in six of pentacles there could be um, just an equality in your third dimensional life so something is equaling out here this is not equality from within like sometimes the justice energy can be equality you're feeling within like more balanced this is something real in your everyday life that is more fair for you. Um, whatever this is, maybe you're getting paid more now. Uh, maybe you are in a sales position and something was not fair and somebody got more of the commission than you did or something. Um, it looks like it's becoming more fair. Something is becoming much more fair. Um, perhaps you're in a relationship with someone and um, you're both coming home in the evening and you're doing the cooking and you're doing the dishes and you're doing the laundry and you're doing all the work. And this other person is is working on a project perhaps that they have to do. Maybe they're going to school and they're coming home in the evening and they're working on their project. And to you, something is not fair. And to them, maybe they weren't realizing it. Maybe they didn't understand. Maybe they didn't understand the burden that they have placed on you. Whatever the solution is and whatever way you're moving forward, there is um, new equality. Um, new balance now in, in your environment that has been around you as you continue to move through possibly this situation continuing, um, but here, but in a much more fair way, in a much more loving way. So even though the five of wands is here, I think this is a victory energy. I don't see that it's going to create this, this devil energy anymore. Um, as we know, most problems take a little bit of time. It takes a little bit of time and we're just talking about a month's time here right? It could be 10 days. It could be a month. We're talking about a very short period of time, not several years, not a year. So it can take some time as we move through this. I, I, when I get into the five of wands energy, I do sense some frustration here. So there could be some lingering aftershocks here, but with the six of pentacles over the top of the five of wands and the knight of cups moving into the five of wands, I think that whatever the situation is, the new strategy, the new communication style, perhaps a new strategy, whatever this is, it is going to um, be able to um, work with this five of wands energy. It's not going to be so much of a problem anymore. <sighs> okay, so let's look at the guidance here and then I'll look at um, what we're going to be looking at in the extended reading. For those of you that would like more information, um, would like to be with me as I dig deeper into some of these energies, you can follow me into the extended. But first, let's look at um, the guidance that's coming forward here. Hermit energy. 
Hierophant energy. Emperor. Three of Pentacles. Wheel of Fortune. High Priestess in reverse. Well, I think um, what, what it looks like the guidance is to, before you take action, really dig deep into the, what the situation is. Look at what your, your role has been. How have you contributed to this situation? Um, because the hermit goes into his cave, right? And he looks at the situation. He looks deeply into the situation. He sees what other people's ha people have done. He sees what he has done. He really um, turns it over and over in his head, and he looks at all the different aspects. He looks at what the role of other people have been, what his role is, have been, what other people could have done differently, what he could have done differently. And then when he has it fully understood, we, when he fully understands what the situation is, he comes back out, back out into the community, back out into the family, back out into the workplace um, with a different kind of strategy. It doesn't have to be a whole lot different, but he usually will walk differently, maybe just slightly differently, but he usually will walk differently. His light will be brighter. His teacher molecule will be stronger, right? That teacher within him will be stronger and he will be walking in a slightly different way. He is a teacher. He's a master life liver. Um, he inspires others to change in um, beautiful ways. He reaches enlightenment. He helps bring enlightenment to other people. And so you're in this kind of energy with the hermit energy. Uh, and the guidance here is to um, go deep within yourself. Look at the roles of other people. Look at the roles of yourself and really see um, what you have control over. What do other people have control over? And really look at what you have control over and how you can move differently in the future that will bring even more success to whatever the situation is. And we do have the Hierophant energy here with the Emperor energy. This is talking about the roles of man, the formality of tradition. It's talking about companies and institutions and large group of people and how, groups of people and how um, there is usually hierarchy and um, formalities of, of societies and different rules and regulations. This can be about religion and spirituality. This can be around a contract, for example, an agreement um, between people to help people understand how and who and which way we should go. Um, but the Hierophant is a community kind of energy where the, the high priestess is an inner energy. See, these are partners here. So there could be partners that are figuring something out together. Um, this is an action energy. So this is not a time to stay silent. This is not a time. This is not a time to hold your words within you. This is not a time to keep your wisdom within you. This is the time to take action, but to take action carefully here with a high, with a high priest. See, I'm in this kind of jolty energy now with a high priestess in reverse over the top of the emperor. This is telling me this is time now to take action, to share your wisdom, to share your knowledge, to share your enlightenment, um, to share what you know, but to do it in a way that's very controlled, um, to do it in a, in a way that's very efficient, that doesn't create, um, it doesn't create further um, devastation or further conflict, but creates guidelines and creates processes and creates systems, um, creates routines. Um, this is about bringing forward your ideas for structure and for continued improvement into the future. We do have some um, new momentum here with the Wheel of Fortune. So there is some success coming in. And I think it's success that revolves around um, new actions being taken, new process, processes being developed, um, new procedures being put into place. I know this sounds kind of cold, but even between two people, even between intimate partners, sometimes there needs to be systems put in place. Like, okay, um, if, if you feel like that and you would like to have that kind of an experience, then this is what I would like. And I think if we could work together in this way, if you do this and I do this, but we can, we can come together at this time, I think that's going to work for me. And that's creating a process and a procedure and standards so that everyone is on the same page. Everyone understands what their duties are, what their expectations are. Nothing is in the gray here with a high priestess. A high priestess lives in gray. That's what she lives. She she lives in the land of the gray. This is talking about having everything, putting everything out, making everything very clear, 
um, making everything very much in the rule book. It's about creating standards and processes and guidelines so that there is no vagueness here. I don't think this is a situation where there can be any vagueness. It needs to be all very clear. Wheel of Fortune is here, which tells me that there is new success coming in to allow this movement to take place, to allow what's going to happen to happen, and to do it in a very controlled, practical, disciplined way. There is something here very beautiful that's being worked on with the Three of Pentacles. There's a lot of potential for abundance here. There's a lot of creative energy here. There's a willingness to work with one another that I feel with the Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles is a beautiful energy. It's an energy of, of positivity and optimism and hard work and working together and learning from each other. So I do think that there is a really good situation here. There's a really good... Um, there, there is a, such, so much possibility here for success. And this situation just needs to be built out. It needs to be created. It needs to be designed. And I think once the tracks are laid, once a railroad track is laid, railroad tracks are laid, this wheel can turn quite easily, um, in, into the trail that has been created for it. All right, Aries. So this was kind of a hard reading. Um, but I think it's ultimately a successful reading. Um, sometimes when I do these readings, I think, oh, there, no one is going to, no one is going to like this reading. But sometimes, and I think almost all the time, when I do these difficult readings like this, um, there is a group of you that really appreciates it and really is thankful for it. So I've learned to, um, continue through these hard readings when I get in the beginning of the readings and they're difficult to move through. I've learned to continue to move through them because, um, these are real situations. There can always be roses and, and, um, sunshine, although you do have sun here. So I, I just think it's a success story. It's truly a success story, Aries. And I commend you for your work. I truly do. As I move into the extended, I am going to look at this sun energy. Um, I'm going to look at the sun deeper into the sun energy to see what that is. Um, I'm going to look at, into this Knight of Cups energy, this energy of love. I want to look into the Page of Cups here to see what this Page of Cups energy is. And I certainly want to look at what this Wheel of Fortune is. So those are the energies I'm going to dig deeper into. And then I'll look at the people who are around you and what their intentions are as they move into the future. It's kind of nice to know what other people's intentions are. Um, so you can kind of get a clue on how they're thinking. All right, Aries, it's always a pleasure to read for you. I hope this helps you in some way. Wish you all the best. Thank you.